found guilty of murder in the first degree. On the evidence presented, I can find no reason to interfere with the verdict. Therefore, it is the sentence of this court that you, Richard Walters, be taken to the state penitentiary and on a day and an hour convenient to the warden on or about September the 13th of this year, it is ordered that you shall be executed in the mode and manner prescribed by the laws of this state. And may God have mercy on your soul. We'll do everything in our power to make you comfortable. You can have anything that you want within the rules. Thank you. Well, I guess that's about all. <laughs> You're just in time, Five. What for? To see the parade. Number one burns in half an hour. Nice looking door, eh? Well, take a good look at it. You go through on the 13th. Shut up, you dirty louse. Play off that kid. What's your name, Five? Hey, Five. Oh, me? Yeah. We call them by numbers around here. Names don't mean much from now on. My name's Dick Walters. Oh, you're the guy that crooked your partner down in Moreland. No, no, I didn't do it. Yeah. Well, that don't matter now. I'm Mir, cell four. I'm Fred Mayer, cell three. Sonny Jackson, number two. I'm DeMauro, number six. Kirby, number seven. Drake. Death House Guard. Pleased to meet you, fellas. Number one, what is burning? Joe Bird is burning. What's that? Ted Werner, cell number eight. He's going nuts, so the governor gave him a stay. Well, why'd they get him out of here? They don't take him out. They leave him here so he can drive us all nuts. And I don't have to keep him here until the Lunacy Commission makes a report. It'll take three or four weeks. He's a poet, too. Drive you crazy. Just don't pay any attention to him, five. Ten forty. Take it easy, one. You got 20 minutes yet. Same old song 
I got trouble, double trouble, all around, all around. The Lord is coming tomorrow. The Lord ain't coming today. The Lord is coming tomorrow and chase all my troubles. Trouble comes, trouble goes, but sun is shining in a place I know, cause Gabriel's horn is going to blow my troubles away. <laughs> They're playing with that again. They play with it all day. They think we've got no nerves. Get out of that room. Get out. Isn't it bad enough? Cut it out. It makes me sick. What could he have done to deserve this? What difference does it make? How do you feel, one? I've got a pain right near my heart. I hope I can stand up. What are you thinking about? Lots of things. The Bennett. How he went last week. I'm thinking of my wife, Elaine. What she's got to go through. Elaine? Is that her name? They shaved my leg. That's where the juice is going through, ain't it? Don't lose yourself, one. You know, I once read that when a man is about to die, only he was drowning in this story, he'd give anything in the world to live another minute. He'd give anything, anything. I believe that one. I'm afraid to die. Honest. I've got everything to live for. A good family. Why do I have to die? I guess they're coming to get you, Berg. Ah, uh, shut your mug, screw. Shut up yourself, Mears. You don't give orders, you take them. Mind if I come in, my son? My God, God of Israel, thou art the father to the fatherless, the protector of the helpless, in whose hands are the spirits of all flesh. We would approach thee with clean hands and pure heart. May our death be an atonement for all our sins and iniquities of which we are guilty against thee. In thy present fullness of joy, at thy right hand, our pleasures forevermore. Amen. Read this. I can't stand it, Floor. I can't stand it. Buck up, kid. I know it's tough your first night in. Please, I'm sick. My stomach. Yeah, I guess I'm yellow. Yellow nothing. My belly's been turning over for an hour. They all feel the same way. Gee, it's awful being in here when that guy's gonna burn. Repeat after me. 
Thou redeemest me, O Lord, God of truth. Thou redeemest me, O Lord, God of truth. He is my God, my Redeemer liveth. He is my God, my Redeemer liveth. He is my support in the time of my trouble. He is my support in the time of my trouble. And take me into thy eternal keeping. And take me into thy eternal keeping. Boruch shem kavod, malchuso loholem voed. Come, my son. I hate to go, but I guess it's got to be done. Light me a cigarette, will you? I'm not taking as I thought I'd be. I'm pretty nervous, though. I never had anything to do with electricity before. All right. Huh? Well, here's the old death house, boys. A little white light will lead you to my blue heaven. A smiling face, a fireplace, a cozy room. You'd better lie down, me boy. It's pretty hot to see. I... I can't lie down. All right, Berg. Let's go. I want to say goodbye to the boys. All right. Start with Jackson. Goodbye, Jackson. I don't want to shake hands. It's bad luck. Goodbye, Mr. Bird. I, I hope my prayers will do you some good. Goodbye, Fred. I hope you get your stay. I hope so. Goodbye. I'll meet you in about three weeks. Wait for me. <laughs> so long. So long. Stay with him, one. I'll make it. Goodbye, Killer John Mears. Goodbye, Berg. Give him my best regards. <laughs> Where, Pat? I will. I will. Glad I've met you, Walters. So am I. Thanks. Well, this is the last mile. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good luck, dear Moro. Adio, mio amico. Stand right up, Bird. I'm doing as well as you do. I'll say you are. Goodbye, Eddie. I don't know which one of us is better off. Farewell, son. If you should happen to meet Lewis, tell him that I... I will, Eddie. I will. Ah, 
Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Wrong, Dick. Nothing. Why? I actually think so. Nothing. Only I didn't hear you whistling when you came home, and you've lost your appetite. That means either a girl or a gas station. Well, maybe I got super octane indigestion. Oh. Are you worried about the gas station? Yes, mother, I am. I I got the cancel checks from the bank today, and I, I find that Max has been drawing out the gas money and spending it. Oh, well, he has a right to draw against the profit. Yes, if that's all he'd done. But he's taken the state tax money and used it. No. It's due the collector on the 6th. How much? Well, it's, it's $150. I never thought Max would do a thing like that. Yeah, well, he's done it. You haven't enough money to pay the collector? Well, I got about $40 in the till, and that's not going to help very much. Did you say anything to Max this afternoon? No, I didn't, but I'm going to settle with him tonight. Aren't you going to eat? No, I'm not hungry. I'm going on down to the station. Don't you make any trouble. Don't you worry, Mother, I won't. That partnership ends tonight. Looks like I ate early tonight. Yeah. Doesn't make me feel bad. I got a heavy date. What are you going to do about these checks, Max? What are you talking about? You've overdrawn the bank account, tax money and all. What of it? I needed extra dough this month. Yeah, well, you had no business borrowing on my share. Oh, stop belly aching. Station hasn't gone out of business. You can take it out of my pot next month. Yeah. You can't get away with it that easy. You're going to pay that collector, see? And you're going to put the money right on the line, so you better start digging it up. What's the trouble, boys? Nothing, Bill. Just a little argument. Ah, uh, you ought to quit squabbling. Forget it. Squabbling only ruins your liver. <laughs> All right, Bill. <laughs> I suppose I can pull money out of the air. Or maybe the banks will make us a loan against our partnership assets. Yeah, well, from now on, there isn't any partnership, see? You're washed up. Oh, yeah? That suits me plenty. You can take what I owe you out of my interest in the joint. May I use your telephone? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Stick him up. Get around here. What do you get? Nice. Oh, yes? You positively identify this as Walter's gun? Yes, sir. How do you know? I've seen it many times. Where? In that drawer at the gas station. He had a permit to carry it. Please confine your statement to direct answers. You testified that when you first came into the station, the defendant and Krugler were engaged in an excited argument. Is that right? Yes, sir. Then when you came up to the door, Walters grabbed Kruger by the coat and yanked him around. Well, yes. As you were leaving the station, Walters walked over to the drawer that held the gun, didn't he? Yes, sir. And when you got back to the station after the shooting, where was the gun? Well, Dick, Walters had it in his hand. 
And did you see anything of the famous bandit car that Walters talked so much about? No. Not at any time? No. That will be all. Thank you. Your name is Mrs. Walters? Yes. Mrs. Walters, please believe me when I tell you I regret having to place you on the stand. But I'm an officer of the state, and I'm only doing my duty. You believe that, don't you? Yes, I... Uh, I guess so. Well, Mrs. Walters, on the night of the death of Max Kruger, didn't Richard tell you he was going down to the gas station and have a showdown with his partner? Yes, he did. And you warned him not to make any trouble? Yes. Didn't Richard tell you that he was through with Max? That he was going to end the partnership that night? Yes. But Dick didn't kill Max. He couldn't do a thing like that. He, he's always been good as God. Be all, Mrs. Just... Walters. Thank you. <laughs> Have you agreed upon a verdict? We have, Your Honor. The defendant will rise and face the jury. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder in the first degree. <laughs> Forget I mentioned it. <laughs> How do you feel, kid? I'm all right. It's six o'clock. Yeah, I know. My last two hours. I can't seem to realize. Oh, uh, you have that stay yet, kid. Too late now, Kirby. It's funny you ain't heard from your mother yet. I, I can't understand. I, I know she's trying as hard as she can. You'll hear all right. Mothers never fail. Benedictione of the Imagri Mort. The governor gave a couple of stays last week. No reason why your mother shouldn't be able to get one for you. You'll get it, white boy. You'll get it. Just keep on praying. I'm praying for it. But no use. I guess I haven't been hurt at all. Oh! Maybe I should start yelling Holmes. Hey, isn't it funny for Werner to remember all those poems? Yeah. He's got one that fits everything. I hope he don't start that one about the midnight special when I have to go. I don't think I'll mind. I'm going to go like Berg did. He was great. Yeah, you got to give him credit. He had his nerve, all right. Did you hear him singing almost to the end? And pulling that crack about waiting for Christmas when they couldn't open the door, eh? Yeah. That was nerve. That's bourgeois. That's what it is. That ain't nerve. He was so afraid he had to sing so he'd be able to stand straight when his belly was all doubled up. I could hear his knees banging together from way over here. Nerve. <laughs> Say, Fred, ain't you seen guys vomit up their insides marching to that door? I sure have. Yeah, well, if they examine half the guys, even before they throw that switch, they'd find out they could save current. Stop it, will you, four, please? I'm sorry, Fred. Forgot me so. I sure did hate to see that fellow Berg go. That's all right. 
You'll meet him up in heaven, Sonny. I'm thinking that I ain't going to meet him, nor you, nor any other white man up in heaven, Fred boy. Do you know that song, I Got Shoes, and You Got Shoes, and all God's children got shoes? When I get to heaven, I'm going to put on my shoes, I'm going to walk all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven. Well, that song is just one grand lie. And it's just to fool black man that believes it. Don't you know there's two heavens? One for the white man and one for the black man? Why, if I could sneak up into that white man's heaven by accident or something, the keeper up there says, you doing up here in this heaven anyhow? Who told you to come here? Don't you know this ain't your place? Get on over in that black heaven, over there by that garbage can, before you sent to your black hell. What, have they got a hell for the black folks too? Sure, sure we got a black hell. Does you all think they're going to let us fry in the same fire with you white me? <laughs> Your move, Red Boy. All right. Telegram for five. Five? You got a telegram? I told you so. You got news. Supper will be right along. Give it to me. Let me have it. Please. What is it, Five? It's for my mother. The prison board turned her down. She won't give up. She's going to see the governor. She must be a swell mother, kid. She won't see the governor. He's out of town. You'll burn all right. You cheap screw. Learn to keep your mouth shut, Mears. Don't believe him, Five. He's a mean skunk. He's just out of frightening you, that's all. Send it down to Pat. Yes, sir. Murphy, take this down to Callahan, death house guard room. Yes, sir. I hate to go down there. One after the other, they stop breathing. Is it of any use? I wonder if they know afterwards that they've been punished. Well, it won't be long now. I'll see you in the garden when you're through. Right. Okay. Open it up, Drake. What for? You're gonna get shaved. Cheers, Patty. Keep there, five. Don't you worry, I will. I'll be waiting for you on the 27th. That's the stuff, Wallace. Keep it up. It'll be better for all of us if you do. What about his head? Nothing doing. I don't want Mother to see me that way when I get home. The warden said all right. We don't have to do it to him. All right, Five. But don't say later on I didn't warn you. It'll take twice as much use. Well, this is my funeral, not yours. I'll wear it any way I like. Okay. 
It's you that's gonna burn, not me. so much in all my life. Well, this old life ain't so good anyway, Five. Let's just hope you're going to a better one. Maybe there is a better one somewhere. Gee, they ought to be. Yeah, you can talk. You're lucky. You got a 30-day stay. I wish I had one. Seems like I ought to get at least one. Just one. Hey. You gotta hear this death warrant. I don't want to hear it. The roll, it must be read. I'm sick of rules. Death warrant. Richard Walters. To Frank Lewis, warden, state prison. You are hereby ordered to execute Richard Walters. Convicted of first degree murder in the manner provided by the law. On the 13th day of September, at such time as you shall determine. Within the walls of your said prison, pursuant to the order of this court made and provided. James Griswold, Judge Presiding. That's that. Callahan. What? I want you to send a message to my mother. Yeah, you gotta do it for him, don't you, Callahan? That's a rule, too, ain't it? You'd like to see him die without even a word to his mother, wouldn't you? Shut up, you. What do you want to say? Tell her I, I'm laughing and, and joking and singing. Tell her I'm thinking of her. Tell her I'm all right. All right. Got that? Yeah, I got it. And tell her my, my thoughts are all of her. Tell her all of that, will you? Yeah, I'll tell her. You bet you will. Rat. Hello, Callahan. How are you, Dave? I'll see you inside when you're through, Mike. I'll be right with you. Here comes your supper, Five. Now, I hope it's a good one. I guess it's my last. Oh, I don't know. You'll get that steak. It's early yet. Here you are, me boy. Thanks. Tenderloin steak, baked potatoes, jam, bread, with plenty of butter, coffee, and mushroom soup. Mmm, -hmm. mushroom soup. I wonder where they got that from. Is it canned soup? I don't know. It tastes too good to tell. I sure do wish I had some. You'll have some, Sonny boy. They'll give you all you want. See if I can't finish it. 6.30, an hour and a half. That's all that's left. What if I shouldn't get that stay? Keep hold of yourself, Five. Don't let it get you. What if I shouldn't get that stay, Mears? You'll get it. Yeah, but what if I shouldn't? But you will. Yeah, what if I shouldn't? What if I shouldn't? I got mine, didn't I? Why should you be different? What if I shouldn't? What if I shouldn't? Steady, Five. Tomorrow. What? I'm going to ask them to let you hold your hand tonight. They won't let you. Yes, they will. And you'll get the juice through you too when we both die together. <laughs> well, cut it out, Five. Ain't it bad enough without that? The death house where they come and go and linger just a little time. Before they give you the electric chair, sentence for some awful crime. He started that again. Stop it, Eddie, stop it. Shut up, you crazy fool. I've seen them come. I've seen them go. I've heard the death warrants read. When I see the bright lights go dim in the electric chair, another soul is dead. Stop it, Eddie. Have a heart. When I hear the lonesome hum of the motor that sends the high voltage to your chest, stop it, do you hear? Stop it, I'll go mad. Stop him, somebody. Drink. Where is it? Stop him. Stop him yourself. I like it. Scum. Oh, scum you. 
You yellow screw. Come on, Flatfoot. Ah, oh, pipe down. I can't stand much of this. It makes me sick when a guy is gonna burn. I'd rather be anywhere than here. That goes for me too, Fred boy. the prayers, my boy? Yes, Father. I finished up to here. All right. Let us continue from here. Calling car 28. Calling car 28. Come on, baby. We got something hot on the platter here. Yes. There's a hold up at 4th and Main. That's all. This one's dead. Yep, too bad. So is this one. Hey, Pat. Come here. Yeah? Take a look at this, will you? Doesn't that answer the description of the watch in the Wallace case? To Richard from Father. Yeah, that's it, all right. God bless you. Well, my boy, how are you feeling? Well. I've been praying for him. I think his soul is at rest. Yeah. I'm coming back presently to give him Holy Communion. And I'm going to stay with him then until the end. It'll calm him and bring him nearer to God. It'll help him to go without fear. All right, all right. I've got two weeks yet. Do I have to go through this a million times? John, you're fatigued. You ought to go to bed. Now. I don't want no sleep. Oh, but you haven't slept for nights. You need it. I don't need nothing. Why don't you leave me alone, O'Connor? Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. I was only trying. I can't sleep, don't you see? I don't see him in there, but I know what he looks like. I know what he's going through in there. He's scared stiff in there. It seems to me he's very brave. Brave? How can he be brave if I'm afraid of puking? He's feeling like if my belly's turning over just for the idea. John, he has faith and believes. Oh, I wish you'd allow me to talk to you someday about God and the Bible. Ah, oh, that ain't faith. They're just closing your eyes and wishing. Say, I've been through too much. Maybe I never had no education, but I thought a lot in my time. I had to. 
And I know this. I gotta see it in black and white. I gotta have two and two make me talking myself into nothing. Don't you think I'd like to believe and not be afraid to go through that door over there? I'd have to wait and worry and wait. Go nice and peaceful and smiling and have faith. Why, sure, you can talk that way. You don't have to go. You're not waiting afraid, afraid of... John, I would have no fear. You wouldn't, eh? I'm certain I wouldn't. Goodbye, John. O'Connor, we'll see if you're afraid. Stand where you are and don't make a sound. Get in there and keep your mouth shut, do you hear? Keep your mouth shut. John, you're mad to try anything like this. Get in there and keep your mouth shut. I'm gonna do as I say. I'm running this. I'm the boss. Get me? Come on out, Sonny. I'm with you, boss. Watch that car there. Miss, miss. You're a man, miss. Don't get excited. Keep your shirt on. Get out of there. Get out of there, kid. I'm out. I'm not number five anymore. I got a chance, Mears. I'll say you got a chance, but keep quiet. All right, Demora. Maybe he won't be sitting in that chair on the 29th. Yeah, maybe he won't be alive on the 29th. Sure, maybe he won't, but what of it? Oh, what's the matter? Did you join us? Nayland, this warden's a pretty good guy. And you hadn't ought to do this to him. Get on this. Have you got a plan? Plan? What do you think I've been doing? Sitting counting cockroaches? Sure, I got a plan and a good one. Well, what is it? I'll tell you when I'm ready. You better join with us or I'm not responsible for you. Yeah, but if we could you do? At least you'll get it sudden when you ain't expecting it. When you haven't been washed and shaved and prepared like a stuffed goose for the cooking. At least you won't listen to that clock take away the minutes of your life. You won't have to walk up to that chair. What do you think about it, Wallace? I can breathe now. I feel like I've been born again. All right, Mears. I'm against you. But I just want to look at it reasonable, that's all. I'm with you. Come on out of your free now. So you can stop all that bull about being nuts. Come on, I know you. You can fool the doctors, but you can't fool me. We need every man here, so quit the comedy. No, no. Oh! 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 He is nuts, fellas. I thought he was for all the time. I'll lock him in here and keep him out of the way. How you gonna handle this? All them screws in the guard room. We're gonna catch them and get their guns. Listen, Mears, you take my advice and... Shut up! What? You heard me. If I had a gat, you wouldn't talk that way. No, I'd talk this way. Would you? Yes, I would. All right, boss. All right. Okay, then. Everything I say goes, and I ain't gonna waste a minute arguing, see? Watch that screw. He's moving around. Hit him on the head and get him in the mayor's cell. I'll do that with pleasure, boss. Do you realize what you're doing? Can it, O'Connor? I got no time for lectures. Think we'll get through mirrors? What's the difference? What if we don't? We're gonna try. We gotta get them screws. But remember, we gotta rush them. Sudden, quick. Grab one of them iron stools. Get stools, everybody. If they fight, crack them, but not too hard. Because I want them alive. Test that chair, boy. You better finish up that game. Three. That's for the one you gave me, screw. Get him up. Hi. Frisco, men. Get the guns and plenty of shells and get him out of here.
Yes? You located the shooting. It's in the death house. Nobody answers. Leave. Who's in the death house? Penny, Harris, O'Farney, Drake, Father of Tom Connors, and Callahan. Pat hasn't come out? Are you sure? Yes, I can see the entrance from here. Hello? Hello? Death house! Step on it. Yeah. Not your, not your father. that gun. Are you talking to me? Put down that gun, you hear me? I'll have you on a straitjacket in an hour. Yeah? Yeah, I'll have the holes on you, too. There. Wallers, you two get busy and knock the bars out of cell one. I gotta have one window open. Well, don't stand there and look at me. Move. There's an axe in the guard room. Head up, boy. Get it, Wallers. You two get on that window in cell six and plug anybody you see. Yes. You know what you're doing. The law is stronger Shut up than... Your law. I'm sick of it, and I'm sick of you and your chatter. You have no right to get it. I'm the law now. Here, take that. Swell. Get those bars out, but keep low. Don't take no chances. Hello. Is that you, Pet? No. It's Killer Mears. We got your brother-in-law and your guards locked up. Understand? In the cells and we got their guns. You can't get away with that, killer. You better give up now while you got a chance. Yeah, we'll give up. Listen, you. Before you send out any alarm, get this and get it straight. I'm talking for all the boys and we want our freedom. We want a big closed car, plenty of gas and oil and good tires. Four hours start and no double crossing. We'll take O'Connor's and your brother-in-law with us, and if you come through, we'll drop them safe. You'll get nothing of the kind. And we're going to kill your guards, one after another. Your brother-in-law is a guard, get me? And we're going to keep on killing them until we get that car. I can't give you your freedom. Well, then I'll change your mind for you. Listen carefully. Demora, Kirby, get Drake out of there. No! 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 Come on, Alice. Oh. All right, give it to you right here. Oh, you can't! You can't! You can't! Oh, yes, Mears, I Mears. Can. You're yes, not going to do can. this. Yes, I am. You've had this coming to you for a long time. This is your payoff. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mears, Mears, I'll do anything. I'll help you get out. I'll do anything Lick for the floor. Lick the floor, you yellow belly. It won't do you any good. I hope I miss you the first time, so I have to give it to you twice. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't. Hear your guard, Wharton. No. Hear your guard. Hear him squalling for his life. Listen to this. And get that car before we treat the rest of them the same way. No. 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 Miz. Did you kill that man? Look out the window and see. It's Drake, all right. Get out of the walls. Find out what cells I've been locked in. Okay, Chief. Wait! I want every guard out of their safety, understand? Get those cons into the dungeons, dead or alive. Turn the machine guns loose from all the empty cells. Pour lead into every spot that you can reach. Get bombs on the walls, and if the machine guns don't stop them, we'll blow in the side of the cell block. Get going! Okay, Chief. That's right. Keep off that wall. 
Don't waste your bullets. Okay, we haven't got many of them left. Don't you see it's no use, Mears? They won't let you go. You better shut up, Callahan. I might take you next. They got the boys locked in cells two, three, and four. Now the cons are using the other windows there. So cut loose at them, but be careful. All right. now. Come on out, O'Flaherty. Let him out, kid. John, you're not going to kill me, are you? This guy O'Flaherty's okay, ain't he? Sure, he's all right. He's been pretty white. Shall we let him go? Yeah, that'd be swell. You see, we mean business, don't you? Yes. Well, I'm going to let you go. Free. But I want you to tell that keeper something, and I want you to tell him right. He thinks we won't go through with this. You know we will. Yes, I know. You'll be able to tell him what it means to them to get out of here safe. You'll be able to tell him what a spot they're in better than I can. Tell him that he ain't got no chicken-hearted punks in here. I'm prepared to carry out every particular of everything I say I'll do. Get me? Yes. You tell him. Now, remember this. Tell him that we got four men in here. Four live men. Harrison Petty, Callahan, and the priest. Tell them that I'm going to kill every one of them. I'm prepared to kill every one of them, and Callahan goes first. You hear that? Yes, I hear. If he don't come through with my demands, if he don't come through, say that Callahan goes in ten minutes. Get me? Principal Keeper Callahan at 725, unless that warden phones me and gives me his word, I'll go through with it. In that case, I'll give him 30 minutes to have that car outside the door there. Get me? Yes. I remember every blessed word of it. I want to thank you for this, John. I'll never forget you. I'm thinking about retiring anyway. My pension's beginning in a All few right. months now. All right, get I... going. Goodbye, John. Goodbye. Wait a minute, it's O'Flaherty. Don't shoot. That's swell, Michael. You're safe. Get back on that window and stay there. You better get ready, Callahan. No! Yes! You got just eight minutes. I'm going to give you a little taste of what we go through in there. When that hand reaches 725, I'm going to put a 38-size hunk of lead through your head. See? You can't mean that, Mears. You don't mean you're going to do that in cold blood without a chance? I never meant anything more in my life, Callahan. Mears, you can't go on with this. You can't go on taking human lives. It's got to stop. The warden won't do anything but what the state demands. Oh, he won't. Well, that's very nice of him. He's only going to give me the electric chair. He's only going to kill me. What do you want me to do? Get down on my knees and thank him? That's his job, his duty. You got six minutes, Callahan. How does it feel? You think you understand a little bit of what we feel now? You've got to do something, Frank. There are four men left. Four live men. Your brother-in-law. They shot Drake in cold blood. Not a chance. And they'll do the same to the rest of them. Give them the car. Give them anything that they want. We'll get them after. Don't you think I'd give them ten cars if I could? 
think I want to throw away the lives of those men? Callahan's life? My sister's husband? I can't do it. It isn't just this escape. We might get them back, but what of it? What would it mean? The news would spread. Every prison in the country. The Khans had made a warden let them go. Everyone would be in danger. All on account of me and my brother-in-law. And those three... Warden speaking. Well, how about it? You got four minutes. I can't do it, Mears. In four minutes, Callahan is gonna die. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Yes. He means a lot to me. But that doesn't change anything. All right. Then he's gonna say goodbye to you. If that don't change your mind, it's too bad. We want that car. Kirby, come on. Watch these guys. Get over there and see if you can save yourself. John, you're crazy. Frank, get me out of here. Do what he says. Give them anything they want. Anything. Get me out, Frank. They'll kill me. I can't let them go, Pat. You got it, Frank. These men are not going out to blow up the world. They just want to hide. Get away, that's all. You got to save me, Frank. We're pals. We worked together for 10 years. You can't let me go like this. It's murder. For Rosie's sake. And the kids. There's your answer. He cut you off. He cut me off. He had to. He can't help you. It's his duty. Duty? Who cares about duty when it means our lives? We've got to take a chance. Use the bombs. Blow in the wall. We've got to get at him. All right, Frank. You've got 30 seconds, Callahan. How do you feel now? How many times did you read a death warrant? How many times did you give the electrician the death signal? How many guys did you hold a hose to and laced up in a straitjacket? Huh? Do you feel your guts turning over like mine have? Like all these monkeys have? All right, Mears. Where do I stand? Right where you are. Throw him into number six. Hey, stop firing. Yeah. They want to see what we're going to do. Get back up there. Kirby, number four. The more is five. Keep your eye on to get all of us. We're just a lot of animals. A lot of monkeys in a cage. Mares, why don't you quit? Give us a chance to live. Don't you think I want to live? Don't you think I want to be free? 
Yeah. I want to walk in the sun. I want to see an ocean. I want to see a woman again. Get out of there. Get them out of there. a bullet. And I suppose I'm next. Yes, O'Connors. You are. Next and last. No, no, you can't do it. You can't shoot a priest. Shut up. You can't, Mayor. You're not going to kill him. They say it's bad luck to kill a priest. I want to see if it is. Who do you think you are? You've been bossing this thing long enough. I'm through, do you hear me? I'm through. Look out. Took it from me. Can you imagine taking it from me? Mears. There I am, kid. Keep hanging on. They got me. You suppose they should get me now? I know. It hurts. My chest. You better, Terrible. Better not talk. Can I help him? He don't need your prayers. Hello? Yes, sir. Governor Blaine calling you, sir. Warden speaking, Governor. The district attorney at Moreland has just reached me long distance. Said they have new evidence to prove Walter's innocence. I want to stay the execution. I'll uh, send a reprieve tomorrow pending an investigation for full pardon. It may be too late, Governor. There's been a break in the death house. The convicts are holding it against us. When did this happen? An hour ago. I've kept the news inside the prison. How serious is it? Have there been any killings? Yes, several. We don't know who's alive in there and who isn't. Find out who's alive? Keep me posted. If Walters is living, tell him his pardon depends on this fight stopping at once and the extent of his guilt in starting it. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Governor. Goodbye, sir. Why does it stop? Pain, I, I can't stand it. I can't. John, give up. Give up and get him to the hospital. He needs a pension. Now, what'll the amount to? They'll only saw him up so he can cook him. I can't stand it, Bears. I, my chest, it hurts. I want you to finish me. Go ahead and shoot. My eyes are closed. Go ahead. No, no, no. Don't. Don't. Mears. Mears. Wait. A message. They're trying to get word to you. Is Walters alive? Tell Walters. Walters. Governor has given him a reprieve. 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 And maybe a pardon. If you stop fighting. 
Don't you see, Mia? Apart, you can save this boy. I think I'll go get a little air. Two weeks more and these come off for good. You've pulled through in great shape. Yeah, thanks to you. And Mears. Now I keep thinking of what Fred said to him after the break started. You're a man, Mears. A crazy man. Yeah, I've been thinking that. Now he seemed to go crazy right after he got the keys. Men like Mears are hard to understand. Hello, Mother. Hello, Dick. I brought the oranges this time. Well, how are you feeling today, son? <laughs> Pretty good. Think you could stand a little excitement? Yeah, I guess so. What? It finally got here. A full pardon. I thought you might like to see it. Thanks. 